If you've become frustrated with your river pike fishing over Christmas, worry not. The rivers are now dropping back and clearing, and there is a chance, and although we're gonna get rain in a couple of hours, there's a window of opportunity. I'm gonna take a wander downstream, try a few spots, and catch a pike, and show you how I go about it. The river I'm fishing today is the Wye, and it's a big, angry river. It's a spate river, and that means a hard life for the pike, and that'll dictate where they're gonna lay, where they're gonna sit. But these rules also apply to any rivers. A pike, it doesn't wanna be in the flow all the time. That's taking energy. It wants to lay in ambush, so that'll be a slack. And if you can find a crease where maybe fry or silverfish are lying in the flow and it can just zoom out and attack them, then that's the best area. It wants an area where it can get its prey, but when it's not hunting, it can rest. Right, first and foremost, be really careful when you're on the riverbank. It's a treacherous place. Every foot you put down, look where it's going, because if this bank collapses, you're going in the river, it's game over. So be really, really careful. That's more important than any pike. What I'm gonna to do to start with, I'm fishing with a lure just to explore the area. I've got a few spots and then I'll work back over if I don't catch on the lure with a dead bait, but I'm hopeful with the lure. The reason I've picked here is because there's a tree just upstream and it's deflecting the flow and it all smooths out here. There's a big deep hole upstream and you can just tell if you look at the water, it's not boily, it's smooth. It's like glass water, I call it. And a lot of fish like to lie in this area at this time of year. They don't want to be exerting a lot of effort and certainly a pike he wants to lay ready for an ambush he might move out into the flow but when he's resting he'll be in calm areas like this and just look for this type of water glass water nice and smooth so let's try with the lure and see what's about i only ever take two rods down the river and often one but today i wanted to cover the water first with a lure in case they were really active. And the dead bait is just a backup. You can place a dead bait next to a bush, it sits there, and the pike have time to come out and investigate. It's always good to have the two on a river, but I think what's crucial is to keep moving, keep searching. Don't sit in one swim, certainly not all day. Keep roving up and down. Come back to it later, but be really mobile. Don't take it, I haven't even got a chair with me. I want to keep moving, keep searching, keep finding the fish. Investigate right under your feet. That's the key. The pike will be laying where they can ambush things, where they can rest. They're not just going to be laying out in open water. So every bush, every little nook and cranny, investigate. Anywhere the flow is being deflected, be that by a bush or a bend, have a cast. The tackle I'll take for my lure fishing will start with the rod, and that's uh, Esox nine foot piker rod. Um, great for getting in little areas, poking and prodding around. Then I match it with 60 pound braid. Now, no pike's gonna snap 60 pound braid, but it's important that if you hit a snag, and that's often with dead baits as well, that you can bend the hooks. I don't want to leave anything in the water, and certainly when I'm playing a pike, I don't want to take any risk whatsoever. I've got a 30 pound plus trace on there as well, and then a Drennan Zagtail I've put on to start with. Come in lots of different colors and variations, and I think this one's like a fire tiger perch color, and it just shows up because the water has got quite a lot of color in it, sediment still coming downstream. I just thought that would show up better. But again, I don't take a lot of lures. Three or four lures, that's all you need. Don't burden yourself with a lot of tackle. Keep moving. Right, I'm still staying mobile. I only ever bring two rods. I've tried with the lure. There's a bit of colour in the water. Could work, but I'm going to swap over to a dead bait. My favourite river dead bait, and that's a sardine. Very rarely bring anything else. I think I've got a packet of smelts, but... Sardines are the winner. Then I've got a Drennan Trace on, size six hook. And that goes to something really simple, just a running ledger and with a Zeppler float. And that will go up to a stop knot, just a cock, just for bite indication really. This sits on the bottom. Simple, 
all my rigs for everything I fish for is really simple. I'm gonna lower this down between some bushes. It's about 10 foot deep and hopefully there's a pike laying there. can't believe under this bush or here, somewhere here, there is a pike. Right, we're away. Didn't want the lure, but something's picked up that sardine. Just check my drag. It's definitely there. Yep, bobbing away. I won't give it too long. Sunk down. I'll wind down a bit of tension and set the hook. Yeah. Here we go. I don't think it's massive, but it's a pike. I'm gonna get it in the net. Oh. There we go. That's river piking. Great fun. There we go. Well, not the biggest pike I've ever caught. It's a pike, gave me the bite, and that's what's fantastic. When you get that bite, float bobs away. And it could be anything in this river. I've caught them to over 30 pounds. I don't think you're gonna make that, but thank you very much for giving me that bite. It's just here where it was. I whipped the lure out the way and he was looking for it. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Whoa. That's a good fish. Come on, this is a nice one. Head come out of the water, took it at the last moment. Look at that. That is a lovely big river pike, this is. Oh, come on, just wedged it against that. No. Yes, yes, fantastic. On a lure as well. Brilliant. Made up with this one. Look at that. That's so exciting. When that hit. Oh. Never get enough of fishing. Always buzzing. That hit was incredible. Thank you. Small window of opportunity and make the most of it.